Hi, my dear students. I welcome you today's class. Today we are going to learn second part of the story. Madam rides the bus. All my dear students, please take page number one hundred twenty-one. Before starting today's class, we just recall previous class. A short summary. Previous class short summary we can analyze. The main character Valyamai, she called Valli, wanted to ride a bus. That is the main incident of the story. She is only eight years old girl. She wanted to go a bus ride. She asked all details about this, about the journey, others, and collected the information. After that, she went to bus stop and started her journey. She boarded the bus and she got ticket. That much we discussed. The remaining part, page number one hundred twenty-one. Please take and let us learn. From that page, the conductor told Wally to sit comfortably. She shouldn't stand. Just visualize a small eight-year-old girl is standing the seat. Conductor told her sit comfortably. Don't stand. But Wally said she wanted. Two. She wanted to stand up and wanted to look out. He told her that she would fall and hurt on the sharp turns. Okay, be careful. Conductor told. He called Wally at the time of interaction. She called Wally child or oh, child. She told that she was eight years old. According to her mind. She was not the young, not the small. She was yeah, older, like that in her mind. That was, that is why she told, "I am eight years old." Then at the next stand, that means our vehicle traveled next stand, an elderly woman came. And sat beside Wally. The woman asked Wally if she was alone. Are you alone? Wally looked at the woman, and she had ugly ring. Her ugly ear. A ring is very bad or ugly. And she had a metal nut in her mouth. She battle nuts in her mouth. That means she is not a good looker. In her her mouth, battle leaves are there. As this, Wally replied that he was she was alone. Yes, Wally, I am. I was alone, and I had got ticket also. She told at that moment the conductor added the same thing. Well, he asked him why he didn't mind his own business. She then laughed with the conductor. One lady also just visualize one lady. She had a better life and a bad ring in her ear. That will go sad to and they are making interaction. Then. The woman told that it was not proper for her to travel alone. That girl just convinced Wally. She asked Wally about her house. Wally replied that she needn't bother about her. Anybody check in your house? That girl, that woman asked. Wally replied that need no need not no one. And needn't bother about her. She turned her face 
towards the window after that day after that interaction she just turned her face to the window then next section page number 123 section 3 from here we can learn how wally had a planned for pride how planned how she planned to go outside Wally had saved a 60 paisa for bus journey first she saved how with a sacrifice she had saved a 60 paisa how she had resisted the desire to toy to buy toys and balloons etc like that things she had planned him first journey for a long time and she had stood at the front of her house to plan about it and she sacrificed many thing and she avoided all his small small ambitions and enjoyment after that she collected money then started the journey after she had enough money saved the her next problem was what was how to sleep out of the house without his without her mother's knowledge or mother's inform uh, mother's permission how she wanted alone a journey but she wanted to sleep out of her house without mother's awareness so she she thought how then but she managed all things without too much risk then the bus now rode across the bare landscape she reached the bus and started the journey that we already discussed and that bus crossed a bare landscape trees came running towards the trees came towards the they rushed when the bus moved some time the bus seemed to strike the oncoming other vehicles she thought that it will collapse but both passed very safely that means it looked like a hitting other vehicle came very speedy but both passed very safely suddenly then these all are her views at the time of bus journey just to visualize then it will be very easy suddenly a cow with a raised tail tail also raised and come in front of the bus the bus slowed to a crawl and the driver sounded the horn again and again he 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 well, so many time made a sound horn but the cow continued running before the bus at that time bus uh, the cow running before the bus while clapped her hands with joy she enjoyed this thing very happily she laughed and laughed at that time the conductor told her just to, to save some laughter for next day oh, uh, conductor looked at her at that time told just to, to save some laugh for next day then our journey continued then she reached the city the bus reached the city the bus passed by the side of the railway crossing then it came to the throughout fair there were big and bright shops were there there were huge crowds of the people while gaped at everything she gaped at everything and at last the bus reached the town the conductor asked valley to get down out just to get down from the bus she told that 
she was going to back on the same bus she only like to just come to town and the same bus just to return she only thought like that only bus ride conductor told her just to come down from the bus she told no i am i want to go same bus to the to my village she gave at the moment that she gave some coin for ticket to the conductor for returning ticket she gave the conductor asked her valley what was what was the matter valley told him what why this easily you are giving money valley told him that it was nothing she felt like having a bus ride only she felt a bus ride only then conductor asked if she want to have a look at the sight valley replied that she was afraid of that at the sight she afraid to go outside and she is only 8 year old girl so she afraid and valley replied that she was afraid of that at that moment he asked her if she was in the afraid to come in the bus you are not afraid to come to bus the conductor asked valley to have a cold drink just to take a cold drink valley told her that she had not enough money she only collected journey fare or money only that much only she saved she had not money enough money she asked for ticket the conductor offered her drink from his own side so conductor gave her drink from his side that means money gave by conductor the conductor offered her drink from his side but valle refused to accept this offer valle told no 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 i don't want the conductor asked valle if her mother want to look for her mother will look you or not valle replied that no one would oh, no, no 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 one they waited for the return journey and both waited after some time and for returning of the bus that section also finished then section 4 the bus started again there were the same wonderful sight valley was not bored now but suddenly she saw a young cow lying dead at the returning time a young cow lying dead by road by the road side it had been struck by some fast moving vehicle like that when she looked out a way that body of cow maybe or it might be one fast vehicle hit and it might die valley asked the conductor if that dead cow was in the same they had seen earlier at the time of going to town they saw a cow tail raised and at that time driver of the bus honked again and again is that cow is that well he asked the conductor nodded yes conductor nodded valle got sad at that time it are up to this time all are enjoying scene now a bad scene or a sad scene she saw the cow had looked a earlier lovable and beautiful but now it looked horrible in its death the bus moved just visualize that scene 
one cow laying dead that girl is there she now she was sad the bus moved forward the memory of the dead cow she thought the cow that memory haunted valley she no longer wanted to see outside now she sat glued to the seat as a sad person now she is very sad the bus reached the village wali told the conductor to see you again just she returned from the bus and reached her own village bus stop at that time she told the conductor see you again he smiled he told wali to come and join them whenever she felt like riding the bus when you like just come and enjoy with us conductor told the bus she must bring the fare with her only one condition just to bring the fare that is enough wali laughed and alighted but the death scene of the cow had changed wali now she was sad because of that scene then after that we are going to discuss about to how how she reached her home wali reached her home she found her aunt living in the south state talking with her mother she was a real chatterbox always speaking person is her aunt she asked wali where she had gone just asked where she has she had gone wali didn't reply wali just keep kept silent she just smiled wali heard her mother saying that no one can know about everything at that time mother from there from her side told no one know about everything so many things happened wali replied in positive mother told all no one can know about everything wali replied in positive yes she made a journey from her town from her hometown home to town nobody knew so she replied in positive wali's aunt reacted she called wali a chit of a girl she took interest in things that she didn't concern her lady she believed that she as if she were a grown or elder lady like that wali smiled to herself in her mind she smiled she didn't want them to understand her smile she didn't want them to understand her smile what is what is the reason of her smile she made a journey without their knowledge so she didn't want them to understand her smile there was not much chance of that either so she just reached or returned to her home without knowing no anyone without knowing anyone she returned to her home here our chapter finish in this chapter we discussed how valyamai or valli made her first journey what was the sights at the time of traveling and how she managed spending time to her home i hope all my dear students you got idea about today's class if you have any doubt please contact me or stop here thank you have a nice day